This video is brought to you by channel sponsor Bliskit. See the description to get 5% off their entire software stack when it comes to EDR innovation. They have products targeting and generating payloads for both Mac and Windows. Good morning, guys. Today we are going to be talking about MCP or model context protocols. It essentially is what allows your LLM or local AI, IDE, editor, whatever application, do cool shit. It is the standardization, the open source layer between your LLM wanting to do stuff with stuff. That stuff could be data sources, it could be third party services, it could be local applications, it could be whatever you want it to be. And there are already so many cool MCP servers or MCP solutions out there. And one of which we are going to take a look at today is called browser use. It is over at GitHub and it is, it claims to be at least the MCP that allows you to give your LLM the freedom of the web to control a browser instance entirely through LLM. So we are going to be going through this, setting this up. I'm running a basic Kali Linux image. Uh, should be easy to replicate across most platforms. This is just what I have available right now. And we're going to set it up with Cursor IDE because that is currently my go-to IDE. And as you can see, this is totally my first attempt at creating this video today. First off, we are going to need uh, to install a few dependencies. So we're going to start off by creating a new Python virtual environment. Python 3 M for module, VN for the virtual environment module, and we're going to call that virtual environment browser. And once that has been created, we are going to need to source and move into that virtual environment by sourcing the activate file, which you can find inside of the browser and bin, and then the activate file uh, directory. Then we need to install, or we need to upgrade pip, I should say, just make sure that it's up to date within this virtual environment, which it is. And then we can install the uh, browser, sorry, browser use package. And we should actually install the CLI extension of it because that will give us the CLI package as well as the browser use one. So let's install that. And then we need to check if uh, Kali already comes with Playwright which it seemingly does. So we don't need to install that. If you need to install that, that's gonna be sudo up and then install Playwright. But we already have it, so we're good. Might have to install the Chrome version, but I will, Chromium, but I already have that. So we should be good on the uh, dependency side for that. If not, do check the description and do check the official browser use MCP install guide as well. That's gonna have some troubleshooting steps. Uh, but for now, we need to set up cursor to actually communicate with our MCP server. So inside of cursor, go to file, preferences cursor settings and then go down to mcp click add custom mcp now on the uh, browser use documentation there is configs available however you could just copy paste mine from the description because we are doing it a bit differently here so i'm just going to copy my predefined one into my vm here and show it to you so there's a couple of things. First of all, the command is not using UV anymore. It's directly pointing to the package we installed inside of a Python virtual environment. We're going to need to update this path. The argument is just going to be MCP because we want the browser use to start the MCP server instance of it. And then we are going to use browser use headless and set that to false inside of the end bracket. And that is because we actually want to see this browsing happen for demo demonstration purposes. And then you need an open AI uh, API key. And obviously this key is going to be invalidated by the time this video goes live so don't you try to use it let me update the directory path for this so that browser and directory is now inside of the mcp directory so that should be here and backslash and that should be it and then we could just double check that this actually uh, actually exists oh wow it doesn't exist using the found great but didn't we literally just install it uh, oh, browser end. There we go. There we go. Just another bug. Save me some time there. Browser end. And that should exist. Cool. And if you go into cursor now, it's already ran. If it didn't, if it says like could not load tool ever, just re-enable it and also try to restart cursor because some sometimes dependencies that you install might not be, might be added to the path, the environment variable path, but cursor doesn't refresh that unless you reboot it. So do that and then restart it. Sorry. And then go to general. Uh, sorry, go to chat and then go all the way down until you see auto run mode and set that to run everything. That's gonna be basically YOLO mode. Uh, so it's gonna allow, it's gonna uh, enable cursor to just run whatever it wants on your system, including the MCP commands. Definitely wouldn't recommend it outside of the VM, but for this demo, it's fine. So that should be everything we need. Now I have a task that I want. Uh, want this browser use uh, mcp to do i want it to attempt to create a linkedin account or maybe maybe another sort of social media account 
First off, I needed to grab me a temporary email. So use the browser, use MCP to get a temp email from an online temp email service. Let's see if it, if it does that. So it's calling browser navigate, browser session pops up, goes to temp mail, waiting for the email to load, which can take a bit of time. And there we go. It's an email. Did it, did it copy it? Did it refresh it? What did it do? It, it just keeps reloading it. Interesting. Let's see what's happening here. So it's, I hope you get a temporary, uh, it's like refreshing it for whatever reason. Once it, what was it called? Get state. It seems to refresh it. Hmm. Interesting. We're definitely in some sort of, okay. It's selected it. It's copied. Okay. It's trying another one. Oh, how many? There we go. <laughs> Perfect. I can see a temporary email address in interactive elements. So it is having some issues reading the data back, probably because there's like multiple layers of JavaScript updating, updating the HTML elements. So that's interesting. I now have an email. Great. Attempt to create me an account at LinkedIn using this email and other fake information. Make make something real that sounds real up also do not uh also attempt to solve any bot detection or any anti-bot puzzles that you might get okay let's see if we can create an account on linkedin now we get to linkedin Cool. Let's see if it can put in my information. So the email goes in, password goes in. Great. First name, last name. Let's see if it come up. Okay. Um, my name is Marcus Thompson. Great. Mm. This is the bot detection I'm talking about here. Let's see. Start puzzle. Cool. Okay. If we can solve this, I'm so stoked. Please solve this. Okay, couldn't solve it. Maybe it just needed help. No, come on, really think about it. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> We're a real human. We're a real boy. Oh, wow. Okay, so it solved it. But for whatever reason, we got redirected back. That is interesting. It's going to retry. This is interesting, though. And this is definitely... We are 100% getting detected to play right here. 100%. LinkedIn has hard detections for puppeteering browser instances like this. However, maybe with some of the other MCPs that uses browser extensions and not play right, we could have done this uh, and gotten away with it. So let's see if, if, this, if we can solve this puzzle. Okay, no. Just go back. So definitely ain't perfect. I was kind of interesting that it was able to solve that one puzzle though. But I think for now scraping or otherwise browsing and fetching information from static pages is probably where this thrives the most and then we'll see how it evolves but that was pretty much it thank you so much for watching guys go out and play with mcps there is a full directory listing of mcps for cursor if you just google cursor mcp directory there they are uh, there's a bunch of official more official ones that you can install directly through clicks and yeah Go, go and have fun and leak all your private information. Just fuck it. Go for it, guys. Have a good one.